Have you ever wondered how computer understands and stores images? If you save any image in a computer, at right side it shows the storage that requires to store that image. But why does it even require some space to store an image? There are hundreds of images in our computer. But how can a computer distinguish or find the difference between these two images? So let's find out all the interesting answers to these interesting questions. So please, please watch the video till the end. Okay, when you ask your computer to store an image like this, it doesn't know what exactly this image means. How does computer does the task of saving this image if it doesn't know what an image is? If it can't able to understand the image, then how is it storing? Okay, no issues, we will break it down. So, we all know that every picture has a resolution. In normal words, we call it with pixels, right? So the smallest unit of a picture is called as a pixel. So usually a picture plus element is called as a pixel. Let's take this image of 480 into 640 pixels resolution. It means that this image contains 480 columns of pixels and 640 rows of pixels. In total, this image is a pack of 3,7200 pixels. So out of these many pixels, let's pick one pixel out of it. So while investigating a pixel, people have found that each pixel contains one color. But computers have a standard way of understanding colors. They don't directly understand like humans. Okay, now let me explain to you how beautifully computer understand the colors. Every color is a combination of three colors. That is red, green and blue. Using these three colors, you can produce all the colors in the world. How? Let's see. In computer understanding, color black is represented as 0, 0, 0, which means there is no color at all. So it's dark and black. That's it. So this means there is no red color, no green color and no blue color. Color white is represented as a triplet of value 255. This representing that all the three colors that is red, green, blue in high brightness. If you want a red color, keep it the full value of red to 255 and other two colors which is green and blue as zeros. Same with green color. If you want a green color, you can keep other two values red and blue as zeros and keep green with full value. And if you want blue color, 0, 0 and 255. Now let's say you want to generate color yellow with these three colors. Now to create color yellow, you have to combine two colors that is red and green. If you give the full values of red and green as 255 and 255 and keep blue as 0, you will get a bright yellow. If you give uh, a lesser values like 100, 100 and 0, you will get a light yellow. Now we came to understand that experimenting and fluctuating these three colors by numbers, we will get all the colors, right? Now, if you calculate the number of colors that you can produce with these three colors is equal to 255 into 255 and 255 and that is equal to 16 million. So that means you can produce this many colors using the combinations of just three colors. <laughs> How wonderful science is. Okay, now we came to understand that uh, each pixel contains a color and each color can be represented as combination of three colors with red, green and blue. Then the computer converts this RGB combination into numbers. Now believe me, 80% of the understanding is done. <laughs> but wait, but why are the numbers are only ranged from 0 to 255? Not greater than this or not lesser than this? For that, you need to understand what is a byte and a bit. So one byte is equal to 8 bits. So in each bit, it can only have two values. That is either 1 or a 0. In computer language, this is called as a binary system. So if you write all the 8 bits in single line, starting from left to right, the first value will start from 2 power 0, 2 power 1, 2 power 2 and go on till 2 power 7. In this all empty blanks, you can either keep 1 or a 0. Let's say you have kept all 1s in all the 8 places. Then you have to make 2 power 0 plus 2 power 1, 2 power 2 and complete the sum till 2 power 7, which is equal to 255. If you keep all zeros in all the 8 places, then you won't count any of these numbers and the answer will be 0. So the least number that you can make with this 8-bit binary number is 0 and the maximum number that you can generate with this 8-bit binary system is 255. Let's say you want to generate number 51 with this binary system, then you have to give 00, 
double one double zero and double one if you want to generate number 153 with this 8-bit number system then you have to give one double zero one one double zero one and we already know that each color can be formed by the rgb combination right and we are representing red from 0 to 255 which takes one byte eight bits and green from 0 to 255 and same one byte eight bits and blue is also from 0 to 255 which also takes one byte so clearly we can state that each color is equal to three bytes that is red one byte green one byte blue one byte so this tells us that each color should have a capacity of three bytes so this answers the previous question that we have asked earlier in the video why does an image need some storage or a space to store that image so we came to know that each color is taking three bytes of capacity and there are millions of pixels in each image and each pixel contains one color and one color takes three bytes so that means if there are many pixels it needs many bytes so depending upon the number of pixels the number of bytes will increase and 1024 bytes is equal to 1 kilobyte that is 1 KB and exactly at the right side of any file in the computer it exactly shows how many kilobytes of storage that is required to store this particular file now we clearly understood why an image needs some space to store it and we also came to know that for this particular color the RGB combination will be represented as 51 of red 153 of green and 102 of blue and again the computer converts this 51 to 0011 0011 and the greens 153 will be converted to 1001 1001 and the blues 102 will be converted to 011 00 so finally we have boiled down a single image to a single pixel and a pixel to a single color and each color is a combination of three colors and these three colors to numbers and these numbers to binary numbers that is ones and zeros but mr andrew why are we going through all of this pain of conversions from image to pixel pixel to colors colors to numbers numbers to binaries ones and zeros why yeah, oh. yeah. It's just a beautiful picture of a cat. Why is it doing all these conversions? It could have just stored that image try to go inside the computer. Then why is it doing all these conversions into ones and zeros? Yeah! Huh? Yeah! <laughs> well, the computer says, so even though I can't understand an image, I can understand numbers, that is ones and zeros. So you might be seeing in many stereotypic movies uh, showing large numbers of ones and zeros flowing over the screen. So now you might have a question, you might be wondering what is that ones and zeros and how is it even linked to the computer storage? So here, one and a zero is called as binary numbers. So a computer can only understand these two numbers. So our computer is so dumb that it doesn't even know nothing more than one and a zero that's it so after all these binary numbers conversions so it assumes number one as on and zero as off it is simply like a switch if it is one it is on and zero it is off so how does it store this ones and zeros that's the question now now we need something that exactly behaves like a switch like it can only store either one or a zero like it can either store as on or off that is where this thing comes into the picture so right now what you are seeing in this image is called a transistor so what is a transistor it is like a switch it can only store a single element either a one or a zero you might be wondering how this transistor can be stored in a computer it looks so large but today's science is so wonderful in today's world the size of a transistor is just four atoms wide it means we can keep 1500 transistors in a single hay strand so that means we can put 4 billion transistors into a 4 square inch storage card in a computer. So this is how 1s and zeros are stored in transistors. So to store a single pixel which contains a single color and where the single color is a combination of RGB which is 3 bytes and each byte is equal to 8 bits and 1 bit can be stored in single transistor. We need 24 bits that means we need 24 transistors to store a single pixel. Just imagine how many transistors are needed to just store a beautiful image like this. So while clicking the save button, hundreds and hundreds of transistors are working together to make this task happen for us. Not only images, files that we want to store in computers like videos, music, files, code will be converted and stored as binaries only. So whenever you ask your computer to store this image, it will convert into pixels, pixels into colors, colors into numbers, numbers into binaries, binaries into transistors. All these things will happen in just a millisecond.
and this is how all our beautiful images are stored in a computer. After knowing all this functionality and how transistor architecture work, it just blew my mind. Honestly, it's one of the greatest inventions of the humankind. So that's it for today guys. I hope you guys learned something very special today. Please please like the video and subscribe to my channel. If you want me to do more videos like this, please let me know in the comments. And do not forget to share this video with your friends. See you in the next video. Bye bye.